Hello there, this is part one of what I hope to be a series on my build process for my hexapod robot that I'm making from scratch. I've decided to document my process with this project with intentions to keep myself motivated and as a guide to future me not to make the same mistakes that I'm doing here in future projects. My inspiration mainly came from a TV series that I used to watch, where one of the villains sat in a wheelchair with six legs. Ever since then, I've wanted to make at least the smallest scale version of it, but I didn't really think about it that much until I started playing the game Horizon Zero Dawn, which is populated by loads of cool looking walking robots. To start with, I first made a cardboard scale model of a concept, and then I started to think about the sorts of things that I would need to make it, and I eventually concluded that each leg would need 3 joints, therefore there would be 18 joints in total. As I knew that this would be expensive, I first simulated the robot in Unity, which I think was a very good idea, as I could learn how to program the inverse kinematic model without having any hardware issues along the way. For those of you who don't know what an inverse kinematic model is, it's basically a function of the desired location that you would like the tip of your leg or arm to be at, and it calculates the angles that the rest of your joints will need to be to achieve this. For example, if you wanted to put your hand on your nose, the inverse kinematics would calculate the angles of your elbow, wrist and shoulder that would be needed. I'll probably make a future video explaining the inverse kinematic model that I'm using in my code. I also implemented a simple gate so that I could see it move in real time. Now to move on to the leg design. To move the legs I decided to use servos instead of motors or encoders as they would be much too expensive and too big and I already had past experience with servos. I will specifically be using MG996R servos as they are the cheapest servos that fit all my requirements. Once all those shenanigans were dealt with, I started off by modelling a prototype leg and I printed it and tested it with the servos and an Arduino. I also translated the C-sharp inverse kinematics code that I wrote in Unity to C++ for the Arduino. Once I knew that everything was working, I got to work on what I hoped to be the final iteration of the leg design. Well, I say final, but I always end up making mistakes in the modeling process that make me have to adjust things like wrong tolerances after test prints. As you may notice, the middle servo here is at an angle, and this is because I wanted the leg to have more freedom when rotating inwards, as it is limited to 90 degrees each side, and it will almost never rotate upwards. However, I later realised after modelling that this can be achieved by simply moving the servo horn to an offsetted starting point, but I decided to keep it as I thought it looked cool, and it will also tie in nicely with an aesthetic modification that I am thinking of adding in the future. A feature that I think is worth mentioning is the attachment of a foot to its supporting frame because I made it have a snap fit. This is good as it will save some time in the assembly and reduces the amount of bolts needed. Once all the parts were printed, I started to assemble the robot. If you would like to make this yourself, I will link my GitHub down below where you can find all the CAD files and code for this project.